الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله I'd like for us to take time and briefly go over a concise treatise entitled The Methodology of the Salaf the Salaf al-Saleh and the Ummah's need for it and this was a treatise by Imam Fulzan Hafizullah Ta'ala that was translated by one of our brothers from amongst the Tulab al-Ilm of America, uh, Mustafa George, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him and reward him for his work. It's a very important treatise, which just is a brief summary of the minhaj of the Salaf, the methodology of the Salaf, because there's so many misconceptions with so many people claiming to adhere to Salafiyya. So who, the Shaykh began, half of the Allah Ta'ala, who are the Salaf? He began by saying, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, who are the Salaf? And he began, all praise belongs to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. May the peace and blessings of, the, uh, of Allah be upon our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and upon his family and all of his companions. And then he said, Amma ba'd. He said, the topic of this lecture, so this was uh, transcribed from a lecture, is very important. It is as you have heard and as been is announced, the methodology of the Salaf al-Saleh, and the Ummah's need for it. What is intended by the term Salaf al-Saleh is the first generation of this nation. So this is very important ishara that Imam uh, Fuzan made that what is meant by the term of the Salaf al-Saleh, the pious predecessors, not just the predecessors, the Salaf, because from amongst our Salaf in the Ummah, but what's usually meant as a Sharia term when we refer to the Salaf, is the pious predecessors, is those people of righteousness from the Sahaba radiallahu uh, ta'ala and and those who, uh, who came after them up until, and the great Imams of the Sunnah throughout time. Uh, especially the first three generations. When we refer to the Salaf in gen uh, as a Sharia term, it refers to the first three generations. The, sal uh, the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, the Tabi'in, Wutba'a Tabi'in. So then the Shaykh said, and what is intended by the Salaf Asari is the first generation of this nation. They were the companions of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, from amongst the Mahajirun, those who migrated uh, from Mecca, and the Ansar, those who pres uh, were present in Medina, who received the, uh, the Muhajirun. Allah the glorious and mighty mentioned concerning them. So this right here, this uh, shows us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'in, the Muhajirin and the Ansar in the Quran. This is a refutation of who? Of the Rafida, of the Shia, those people who curse, make it a part of their religion to curse the, the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. So when you hear an individual say, there's no difference between us and our brothers from the Shia, or there's no difference between us and, and the Rafida of Iran, or what have you, then know that this person is misguided. And know that this person is either misguided with ignorance or misguided with knowledge. If they're misguided with ignorance, that means they don't know better. And they really shouldn't be giving da'wah, or at least they should learn more in regards to this important matter. Because someone who curses the mother of the believers and says that the mother of the believers is a, uh, a zaniya, they claim that Aisha, radiallahu ta'ala anha, was a, a person of zina. And they celebrate her death. And they celebrate the, and curse the Sahaba like Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, radiallahu ta'ala anha majma'in. And some of them go to make tajawuz with Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu by saying that he was Allah or that he has divinity or other than that. So Ahl Sunnah has the balance and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has emphasized for us the importance of following the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in and that we should love them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa sabiqoon al-awwaloon min al-muhajireen wal ansar وَالَّذِينَ اَعْتَبُوهُمْ بِأَحْسَانِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضُوا عَنْهُمْ وَعَدَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَجْرِي تَحْتِهَا أَنْهَارِ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدًا ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزَ الْعَظِيمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And the first to embrace Islam from the Muhajireen, those who migrated, and the Ansar, and also those who followed them exactly in faith, Allah is well pleased with them, as they are well pleased with Him. Allah is pleased with the Sahaba to Rasul, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Radiallahu Ta'ala Anu Majma'een, and 
they were pleased with Allah because they loved Allah and they adhered to the commandments of Allah and they followed the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam this is why Allah is pleased with them and they were pleased with the law they were pleased with the decree of Allah whatever the Qadr was they were pleased with it and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the Nabi Muhammad Wa Ala Alihi Wasallam